Teddy, Thomas, Michael, Safia, and Anish playing for Chantry Primary Academy in Bedfordshire. And competing against them are Daniel, Katie, Molly, and Ewan, playing for St Joseph's Primary School in County Antrim. But who's got what it takes to really be top class? the competition to find the smartest school in the UK. It's the semi-finals! <laughs> First of all, let's say hello to Chantry. You beat Peter Lee Primary in the heats and Great Kings Hill in the quarterfinals. You've been super at science and brilliant on the buzzer to reach this point of the competition. Let's see if you do the same today to reach the finals. Thomas, what have you been doing to get ready? Well, we've randomly been firing questions at each other and just slamming the table as well. That sounds like quite good fun, just randomly slamming the table and asking questions. I might do that when I get home. Michael, what was your favourite round last time? It would be the lightning round. That will come up again. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. Great. Safia, Captain, how are you going to try and make sure your team get through to the final? Uh, make sure that we all understand the control question before giving an answer, because if we give the wrong answer, the points that we could have got in that round might cost us. Brilliant. Anish, did getting through to the semi-finals make you think you might be able to win this? Yeah, but I don't want to be too overconfident. That's a nice way to be, Anish. Confident, but not too confident. Lovely. Please welcome them. It's Chantry! <laughs> and playing them are St Joseph's. You played amazingly in your match against Carndon Primary in the heat and beat Singlegate in the quarters. During the competition, you've become masters of maths and your teamwork has been terrific. Ewan, how does it feel to be a semi-finalist? Feels amazing. Yeah. Molly. Yes. What <laughs> subjects do you want to come up? Um, English and probably maths. Lovely. Good luck to you. Katie, you're the captain. How does it feel? It feels really amazing that we've made it this far. Brilliant. And Daniel, have you been practising your buzzer technique? Yeah. What have you been doing? Just slapping random things. <laughs> slapping <laughs> random things. Welcome them. It's St Joseph's, everybody! <laughs> OK, teams, the winners of this semi-final will go through to the final. So it's all to play for. Let's kick straight off with a lightning round. <laughs> I feel like I should go... <laughs> Chantry, you're going to be going first. Here's your word ladder. You simply need to change one letter each time to create a new word. Your 45 seconds start when I begin reading the first clue. What is the name of the longest river in Africa? Anish. The Nile. Is correct. Which imperial unit of length is roughly equivalent to 1.6 kilometres? Safia. Mile. Mile is correct. What common name is given to several species of small mammal known for their poor eyesight and underground burrowing? Safia. Lol. Correct. What name is given to the regions at either end of a magnet where the magnetic field is strongest? Anish. Pole. Pole is correct. What word can mean both an actor's part in a play and more generally a person's job or function in an organisation? Anish. Role. Role is correct. What is the capital city of Italy? Anish. Rome. Rome is absolutely correct. Six points. Well done. <laughs> Very well played, Chantry. St Joseph's, you're up next. Exactly the same. You'll have 45 seconds to work your way up that word ladder. Time starts when I begin reading the first clue. What word means both a three-dimensional shape with six square faces and a number multiplied by itself twice? Molly. Q. Correct. Havana is the capital city of which island country? Daniel. Cuba. Correct. Which is the largest and lowest pitched musical instrument in the brass family? Ewan. Tuba. Correct. Yellowfin and skipjack are species of which large edible fish? Molly. Tuna. Correct. In the Harry Potter series, what is the first name of Harry's friend whose surname is Lovegood? Katie. Luna. Correct. In which paired organ of the human body is oxygen transferred into the bloodstream? Molly. Lung. Lung. It's the right answer. You got six. 
six points as well. OK, teams, from now on, throughout the game, you'll get the chance to take control for each subject. The subject is... Science. Here's your control question. Red Dwarf and Blue Giant are among... Michael. Star. ...are among classifications of what type of astronomical object? Star is the correct answer. Well done, Chantry. Well interrupted. Here are the rest of your questions on science. In this game, you're going to see four examples of historical scientific equipment. Okay. You need to work out the purpose of each one. Firstly, this type of measuring device dates back to the 15th century. But what is it used to measure? Mass, wind speed, or altitude? I think it's wind speed. Wind speed. It's wind as it blows around. Yeah. yeah, it goes around, so it's wind speed. Safia. Wind speed. Is it wind speed? It is well done. It is an anemometer. Secondly, what was the purpose of this machine developed in the 1930s and 40s? Code breaking, sound recording, or water purification? I think it's code breaking. They code used it in World breaking. War II. Hmm? They used it in World War II. Yeah, so it's code breaking. Safia. Code breaking. Is it code breaking? It is well done. That's the Bletchley bomb designed by Alan Turing and used to decipher Enigma encrypted codes in the, the Second World War. Very well done. Thirdly, this device was first invented in the 18th century. What is it mainly used for? Weather forecasting, generating electricity, or ocean, ocean. navigation? Ocean. Yeah, ocean, ocean navigation. Safia. Ocean navigation. Is it ocean navigation? It is well done. It's called a sextant, and it measures the angles between the sun and stars on the horizon, so you can calculate your position using those points. It's a wonderful thing. Finally, what does this device measure? Its invention is credited to Galileo in the early 1600s. Is it electric current, temperature, or radioactivity? I think it's temperature. Like something temperature. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Safia. Temperature. Is it temperature? Correct. Changes in temperature make the water in the tube expand or contract slightly, which affects the buoyancy of those glass bubbles. And do you know what, Chantry? That was absolutely brilliant. You got yourself five points. Well done, Chantry. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores at the moment. St Joseph's on six and just ahead of them, Chantry on 11 points. Well done to both teams. The next subject is... Maths. You must give your answer here in its simplest form. Using a normal six-sided dice, what is the probability of throwing a number greater than four? A niche. Third. A third? is the correct answer. Well done. Here are the rest of your questions on math. In this game, you're going to see a short code that instructs a computer to draw a particular shape. Firstly, this programme will draw the shape of which capital letter? F, L or V? Move forward five steps, turn left 90 degrees, move forward three steps. Well, yeah, so it'll be L. 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 Yeah, L. Safia? L. Is it L? It is L. Well done. Which capital letter most closely resembles the shape that would be drawn by this code? K, M or N. Move forward four steps, turn right 120 degrees. Move forward eight steps, turn left 120 degrees. Move forward four steps. Yeah, and then you have to go forward. Yes, and go forward, four, 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 eight, 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 one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, four, eight. Eight. Yes, yeah, and yeah. then forward. Yes. N. 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 Safia. N. Is it N? It is. Well done. Third question. Which of these numbers most closely resembles the shape described by this code? One, four, or seven? Move forward. Move forward six steps. Turn left 150 degrees. Move forward four steps. Turn left 120 degrees. Move forward three steps. I think it's four. One would be like three steps. I think it's four. 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 Because one would be like three steps. I think it's four. Safia. Four. Is it four? It is four. Well done. And finally, which specific shape will be drawn by this code? Isosceles triangle, square or rectangle. Repeat two times. Move forward six steps, turn right 90 degrees. Move forward three steps, turn right 90 degrees. Two, three, four, five, six. I, th I think it's a rectangle. Yes, it's because it has six and three, yeah. Yeah, it's rectangle. It's a rectangle. Safia. Rectangle. Is it the rectangle? It is the rectangle. Well done. Five points to you, Chantry. Very well done indeed.
Let's take a look at the score. St Joseph 6, Chantry just now have 16 points. Give them both a round of applause. It's all about getting control of the game. St Joseph's loads and loads of times. Don't get downhearted. OK, teams, the next subject is... History. Get your fingers on those buzzers. Here comes the control question. In which present-day country is the large ancient city known first as Byzantium, then as Constantinople, and now as Istanbul? Ewan? Turkey. Turkey? You're absolutely right, St Joseph's. Well done. Here are the rest of your questions on the subject of history. You'll see the names of four gods and goddesses from different world mythologies. You need to match each one to a god, usually identified as one of their brothers. So here are your options. You've got Artemis, Isis, Thor, and Amaterasu, Osiris, Apollo, Sukuyomi, and Baldur. So then Artemis would be then Apollo. Is it Apollo? And then Isis would be Osiris. I think the last one would probably be the other one that I yeah, can't Yeah, it's that one and that one. So, yeah, it's A and D. I think it's Thor and Baldur and Isis and Osiris. So first of all, who are you saying is the brother of Artemis? Apollo. Apollo? Who is the brother of Isis? Everyone over. Osiris. Osiris? Thor? Baldur. Baldur? And then Amaterasu is the one that's left. <laughs> <laughs> Sukuyomi. Let's see how many you've got right. Oh, you've got them all right! Five points, St Joseph! <laughs> Very well worked out, St Joseph's. That was absolutely superb. Let's take a look at the scores. It's getting much closer. St Joseph's have 11. Chantry have 16 points. Give them all a round of applause! It's time for the best part of the show because it's time to test the teacher! <laughs> right, Shantry, Thomas, your teacher, Mr Kelly, has been great. Eight points in the heats, six points in the quarters. How do you think he's going to do today? Logically, he should get about four, but... I love you, Thomas. <laughs> you worked out as if it was a maths problem. <laughs> Anish, you always tell me the absolute truth about Mr Kelly. Where's your confidence level right now? Uh, he's going to do good. Your eyes told me a different story, Anish, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> well, Chantry, it's time to test the teacher. Bring in Mr Kelly! Welcome back. Thank you. Your team have a fair amount of confidence in you because they worked out you're expected to get four points, Mr Kelly. Yeah, that makes sense. Eight, six, four, yeah. Yes, if you don't do that, then you've mucked up the sequence, Mr Kelly, <laughs> and the maths will be ruined forever. Oh, goodness me. Mr Kelly, 60 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. Which US country singer features on the official remix of the Little Nas X song, Old Town Road? Billy Ray Cyrus. Correct. In the Jurassic World films, the Indoraptor is a cross between the Indominus Rex and which other type of dinosaur? T-Rex. No, Velociraptor. What is the name of this US solo artist? You should see me in a crowd. Sigrid. Billy Eilish. In Minecraft, what long-necked South American mammal accompanies wandering traders? Llama. Correct. Name this gaming vlogger. Uh, Dan TDM. Ninja. Fans of which K-pop girl group call themselves Blinks? Um, pass. Blackpink. Name either of the teams that won automatic promotion to the English Football Premier League in 2019. Um, pass. Norwich or Sheffield oh. United. Since 2015, which US model has run an annual coding boot camp for young women? Pass. Carly Kloss. Which Greek letter shares its name with a popular emote used on Twitch to convey sarcasm? Alpha. Kappa. Oh, oh no, Mr Kelly! Well done, you scored two points, oh. Mr Kelly! It's fine. The sequence was just take away two and then take <laughs> away another two. So it works out fine. I think you did super. Really tough questions. Thank I'm you. very proud of you, Mr Kelly. Well done. Two points for your team. For now, you are dismissed. You. Well done, sir. Safia, they were much tougher questions, weren't they? 
but two is not four. <laughs> I'd like to defend him, but you're absolutely right. And if I could award you a point for stating the obvious, I would. <laughs> he did his best, though, and that's all that counts. St Joseph's, you have brought Mrs McCambridge with you. In the heat, she got five points, and then in the quarters, one point. I think she got a bit nervous. Ewan, how confident are you today? I'm quite confident. Quite confident. Molly? Uh, very confident. I don't want her to be nervous, so... No, the teachers get nervous as well. They want to do well for you. Daniel, how confident are you? Reasonably. You're going to be a politician one day, Daniel, because you never give anything away. I'm reasonably confident. That's all I'm saying about this at this precise moment in time. <laughs> Let's find out how she does St Joseph's. It's time to test the teacher. Bring in Mrs McCambridge! <laughs> how are you doing? Great. <laughs> yeah? I'm definitely feeling confident. I'm not an expert, but you're lying because you went, I'm feeling confident. <laughs> Your eyes betrayed you. Best of luck. Yeah. 60 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. In the Incredibles film series, what is the name of the youngest child in the Incredible family? Pass. Jack Jack. In the 11th series of Doctor Who, what is the profession of the Doctor's companion, Yaz? Mechanic. Police officer, what is the name of this solo artist? When I'm underneath the bright lights. Read aura. When Mabel. A... Also known as Eggman, the main antagonist of Sonic the Hedgehog game series, a Doctor what? Pass. Robotnik. Name this vlogger and TV personality. Dan, TDM. Alistair Aitken. What colour blue Peter badges for reviewing an episode of the show? Green. Purple. Which Spanish football club did Arsenal beat in the semi-finals to reach the final of the 2019 Europa League? Barcelona. Valencia. Which US singer features on the 2019 BTS single Boy With Love? Uh, Ariana Grande. Halsey. Of unknown origin, what short word beginning with Y has become a popular all-purpose exclamation online often used in the context of objects being thrown? Exclamation mark. Yeet! In November 2018, which star of The Good Place made several high-profile social media posts criticising influencers who promote dangerous diet fads? Pass. Jamila Jamil! It's OK! You got no points! Give her a round of applause! It's OK! This show is all about positivity. It is, yeah. And the main thing is you tried your best. I did. They were very difficult questions. So you shouldn't feel bad about it, Mrs McCambridge. You tried your best. For now, though, you are dismissed. Well done, Mrs McCambridge. <laughs> that was tough. She tried her best, Molly, didn't yeah. she? <laughs> How many would you have got? Probably not that many. So. Not that many. Katie, how many would you have got? Probably, like, two. Which is more than none. <laughs> True. <laughs> St Joseph, she did her best. That's the main thing. That's all you can ask of anybody. Let's take a look at the scores. St Joseph's have 11. Chantry just ahead on 18 points. Give them both a round of applause. <laughs> right, teams, it's back to you because it's time for Pet Subjects. St Joseph's, you're going to be going first. Tell me, what subject have you chosen? Oh, in the striped pyjamas. 30 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. In the boy in the striped pyjamas, in which city are Bruno and his family living? Daniel? Berlin. Correct. What is the name of the boy in the striped pyjamas that Bruno meets? Daniel? Schmel. Correct. What country is Schmel from? Ewan? Poland. Correct. Where does Schmel tell Bruno he wants to work when he's older? Daniel? A watch shop. No, it's a zoo. What is the name of the character who gives Bruno first aid when he falls from the tyre? Katie? Pavel. Correct. What was Pavel's job before he was brought to Auschwitz, Katie? Doctor. Correct. What is the rank of Bruno's father in the German army? Daniel? Commandant. It's the correct answer. Well done. You got six points there. <laughs> yes! Brilliant. Chantry, Safia, what subject have you chosen? The planet Mars. The planet Mars? 30 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. The planet Mars is named after the Roman god of what? Anish. War. War, correct. How many moons does Mars have? Anish. Two. Correct. Name the volcano. Anish. Olympus Mons. Correct. At more than 90%, which gas is most abundant in Mars' atmosphere? Anish. Carbon dioxide. Correct. The red surface of Mars is caused by... Anish. I iron oxide. Correct. In 2018, scientists studying the region beneath Mars' south polar ice cap... Anish. Water. Correct. How many planets lie between Mars and the Sun? Michael. Three. It's the correct oh, answer. You got seven oh, points. Oh, I can tell you now. I 
I don't think we've had a better pet subject round for both teams in this entire competition. Give them another round of applause. That was amazing. <laughs> Let's take a look at the score. St Joseph 17 just ahead of them. Chantry on 25 points. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> OK, teams, the next subject is... Well, it's a mystery. <laughs> And your mystery subject is art. Oh, yes. Here's your control question. Beginning with C, what is the name of the style of art associated? Daniel. Cubism. Associated with Pablo Picasso. Absolutely right. Well done, St. Joseph. <laughs> well done, St. Joseph's here are the rest of your questions on the subject of art. In this game, you're going to see a close-up of a part of a painting. And you need to tell me which of the three terms best describes its medium or style. So firstly, this artwork by Suzanne Valadon has been made using which of these media? Watercolour paint, oil paint, or chalk? That looks like oil paint, because you can see the textures on it. Yes, it's not oil paint. Yeah. Oil paint. Katie? Yeah. Oil paint. Is it oil paint? It is, well done. Secondly, which of the terms on the left describes the technique used to create this painting by Paul Signac? Pointillism, photorealism, or cubism? Not cubism. Not cubism. I think photorealism because it looks really real. Yeah. Not What's sure. Pointillism, but it goes up on a point. Is that really what it is? No. But realism, like maybe something. Yeah, I think photorealism. Katie. Photorealism. Is it photorealism? It isn't. The answer is, in fact, pointillism. So that's a style of painting where you kind of use the paintbrush and you use little dots, so you're using it. It's called pointillism. Third question. This Indonesian fabric is an example of what technique for printing on cloth? Screen printing, batik, or applique? It doesn't look like snow. It, it wouldn't be screen, screen printing. printing. What about applique? Would well, that mean, like, you apply each thing or something? Yeah. And then what would... I but I don't think, I think it could be petite because then a, pl a plea could like mean like you one. apply it. Mm -hmm. Don't really know. So, what, should we go petite? Okay. Okay. Katie? Petite. Petite, is that the right Sorry. answer? Yes. It is, well done. And finally, which of the words on the left best describes the style of this artwork by Kurt Schwitters? Cool. Calligraphy, Caricature a or collage. collage? It's not a collage. I think it's the second one. Car car because calligraphy is whenever you use the pen, you can do the fancy writing. Oh, oh yes, and then collage. It, a collage well, is like, like different photos put together. I think it is. Katie. Oh, the middle one. Caricature. Is it caricature? It's not. Oh. The answer is collage. And you're absolutely right. It is a collage because it's got lots of different bits and oh. pieces and stuck together. But well done there, St. Joseph. You got yourself three points. Well done. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores, and it's getting much closer. St Joseph's are 20. Chantry have 25 points. Give them both a round of applause. <laughs> OK, teams, the next subject is... English. Here is your control question. What word beginning with D means a pair of letters that together represent a single sound? <laughs> Safia. Diagraph. That is correct. Well done. You've got control of the game. In this game, you'll be receiving some text messages. However, the senders aren't too great at punctuation. So firstly, this message should contain a semicolon after which word? I'm so excited about New York. It'll be my first trip abroad. Excited York or B? New York. York. Safia? After York. Is it after York? It is, well done. Which word should a semicolon follow in this text? I feel like I can tell him anything. He's my best friend. After anything, after anything. Him, anything, or he's? Anything. Michael? Anything. I feel like I can't tell him anything. Yeah. He's my best friend. Safia? Anything. Is it anything? It is well done. After which word should the semicolon go here? Nick is definitely the best singer. Kevin should stick to playing guitar. Singer, singer. shoot, or playing? Singer. 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 Nick is definitely the best singer. Kevin should stick to playing. Okay. Safia? Singer. Is it singer? It is well done. And finally, this message should contain a semicolon after which word? We shouldn't have taken Sal off. That's where everything started to go wrong. Off, oh. where, or started? Oh. Oh. Off. 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 Yeah. yeah. Safia? Off. Is it off? It is well done. Five points to you. Very well done, Chantry. <laughs> Let's take a 
a look at the scores. St Joseph's have 20, Chantry have 30 points. Give them both a round of applause. Well done. <laughs> OK, teams, this is it. The last chance to bag some points. And this is for a place in the final. It is the Battle of the Buzzers. 90 seconds on the clock for both teams to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. The Great Barrier Reef is located off the northeast. Thomas. Australia. Correct. Julie Andrews and Emily Blunt have both played which magical nanny on film? Katie. Nanny McVeigh. No Mary Poppins. In Christianity, what two-word name is given to the day that comes after Shrove Tuesday? Thomas. Holy Bible. No Ash Wednesday. In a book by Alexandra Dumas, the characters Athos, Porthos and Aramis are known as the three what, Daniel? Musketeers. Correct. What name beginning with S is given to the person responsible for keeping order during debates in the House of Commons? Thomas. Security guards. No, it's the speaker. What is the official language? of Morocco, Iraq and Egypt. Ewan? Arabic. Correct. Which country's men's rugby union team is known as the Springboks? Anish? America. No, South Africa. What extinct reptile has a name that comes from the Greek for winged finger? Anish? Um, Pterodactyl. Correct. In which game series is the main character, Sora, accompanied by Disney characters including Donald Duck and Goofy? Daniel? Mickey Mouse. No, Kingdom Hearts. What was the name of the French leader defeated at the Battle of Waterloo? Daniel? Napoleon. Correct. What J is the name of a broad genre of music associated with the performers Miles Davis and Ella Fitzgerald? Daniel? Jazz. Correct. In the film Paddington, what is the surname of the family that adopts the bear? Daniel? Bronze. Correct. In which European country are all the major works of architect Antoni Gaudi, including the Sagrada Familia? Thomas. France. No, it's not. It was Spain. In January 2019, Naomi Osaka became the world's number one in which sport? Katie. Tennis. Is correct answer. Out of time. Well done, both teams. Well done. <laughs> what a battle of the buzzers that was. That was so exciting. You've all done incredibly well. But the winners with 32 points are Chantry. You were just behind. St Joseph's, can I just say, you have been incredible players. You've played it so well. You were only six points behind. It's been such a pleasure having you here. Please raise the roof for them. It's St Joseph's, everybody! <laughs> Chantry, you're back for the finals. You're one step closer to being top class. Thomas, how does it feel? I'm shell-shocked. Michael? Amazing. Safia? Speechless again. Anish? Crazy. It is crazy, but you've done it. I'll see you in the finals. For more top class puzzles and quizzes, head straight to the CBBC website. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.